we are in a city that is India's only city without a municipality. That's because the management and maintenance of this town is carried out by one of the largest and most respected corporate house, the Tatas. Hello and welcome to Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 2. I'm Ankit and this week we are coming to you from the gorgeous campus of XLRI in Jamshedpur. As the name suggests, XLRI or Xavier Labor Relations Institute is known most for its personnel management and industrial relations programs. Originally set up by a Jesuit priest in 1949, the institute emphasizes on social entrepreneurship and management. The motto of the institute is MAGIS or Excel in everything. And the institute believes that over the years it has succeeded in grooming managers with the same passion for excellence. Last year on season one of Lessons in Marketing Excellence, Excel RI Jamshedpur didn't really excel at anything. They finished in the eighth position at the semi-final round. This year there's a lot of work cut out for them. So let's see what case will the two teams from XLRI be tackling this year. Imagine a future that's driven by innovation. That's what inspires us today. With the number of times this TV commercial has flooded our screens, Micromax mobile presence is impossible to miss. We keep trying. Micromax mobile, nothing like anything. In a market where there are strong established players and new launches every other month, this brand broke into the top three in 2010. What's worked for this brand has been its affordable pricing, its innovativeness and clear targeting of the youth segment. The brand that's readying for its IPO in February is now aiming for top position in the mobile handset market. And this is where it's enlisting the help of the teams from XLRI. So what the two teams must do is help strengthen the Micromax brand by building brand saliency, that is awareness and recall, and building brand preference or intention to purchase. All this must be done with spends that are one-fourth that of number one and two brands, but with double the impact. A complete plan to help the aggressive and ambitious Micromax Mobile drive saliency and preference so as to become India's number one mobile handset brand within two years. Sounds like a lot of work is cut out for Micromax Mobile, but even more work for the two teams from XLRI Jamshedpur that will be presenting on this very exciting case study. Let's meet the two teams then. This team has people with diverse interests. Riddhi is a dancer. Divya loves sketching cartoons, including the one on her t-shirt. And Sandeep is an avid biker. Riddhi has work ex with IMRB. Sandeep has a work ex with IBM. And I have a work ex with TCS. With two teammates having worked in tech companies and one having worked in the market research space, they realized that in this fast-paced sector, understanding the consumer would make all the difference. So all of us come from different parts of the country. So we did some research there, we did some research here. So it was a considerable sample research which was done. The second team calls themselves WTP, which stands for the marketing concept, willingness to pay. And they are willing to step up to the challenge. Every aspirant, you want certain level of exposure from a B school. We are very happy that we are getting this exposure. The teammates have always been active in extracurricular activities like sports and photography, co-curricular activities like organizing college fests and the entrepreneurship cell. They say the Micromax story is one that's now a discussion point in B school classrooms. Well, Micromax was one of the discussions in our class when we were talking about how uh, new players can challenge the leaders. So, Micromax was the you know impromptu example which came to our mind. Right, so we have seen WTP and Carb ZM over here. You guys are all set to go and present in front of the judges. But before that, we have a little fun challenge to decide which team goes in first. I have a simple branding tagline challenge for you guys. Alright, you guys are ready? Okay, the first tagline is Khayal Aapka. Okay, you put your hand up and the chance goes to you. Uh, HDFC. That is incorrect. So by default, you guys are getting... Okay, okay. That is correct. Alright, the tagline is, let's uncomplicate. What's going on? XLRI. Time out, guys. 
I hope you guys get this seriously. Nothing like anything. Which brand has this? Okay, you put your hand up. Yeah, Micromax. Micromax, fantastic. That is the correct answer. So it's one all right now, and the deciding tagline is "Come out and play." Commonwealth. Commonwealth Games 2010. That is the correct answer. So Team WTB has won this challenge. We'll see you on the other side of the break, where Team WTB will present their solutions first to the Micromax marketing case study. The X factor that we that I consider is important for our team is that we are the best friends in XLRI and. We gel together as a team. So any situation that comes up, we'll take it boldly and we'll put our best foot forward. In the first in line this season, we decided to have the presentations outdoors on a pleasant winter morning. This week, we are at XLRI Jamshedpur. We have met the two teams that will be presenting on the very exciting Micromax Mobile case study. Let's say hello to the judges this evening. I am Pratik Seal. I am heading marketing in Micromax. Uh, the judging criteria, criteria for today is the practicality uh, of the of the thoughts and the ideas and the clarity of the same as well. I'm Vijay Sinha from Hindustan Unilever. I'm here to actually understand how marketing insights taught on campuses can actually be put forward to real life marketing cases on the ground. So team willingness to pay. I hope you are completely willing and excited about this presentation. You'll only have two judges to impress today. Unfortunately, Anuradha couldn't join us this week on Line Season 2. So you guys are all set to impress the judges. Your 3 minutes start now. The challenge is about building brand saliency and preference for Micromax Mobile so as to reach the second spot in the Indian market. We started with analyzing the target segments and identified a few gaps which are yet to be taped by Micromax. Then we conducted certain theoretical studies so as to gauge the difference between brand preference and saliency as well as understanding the positioning of the brand which is currently there in the market. Then we moved on and we felt that the strategy for Micromax considering the brand vision should revolve with the backdrop theme of innovation and indianness so we started with a two pronged approach for the brand awareness the first the urban indian campaign which is named 3mw my mobile my world this includes creating buzz via online and offline media say designing your customized phone on a social application network and at the same time providing the same digital interface experience at a store nearby is something what this campaign revolves around it will not just create buzz but if you look at carefully it will also give you subtle cues about the product preference based on the demographic and we have also designed the ida flow model for this particular campaign along with the timelines next we have parallel efforts in rural india which is a youth segment what we do here to ensure the awareness is a unique hub and spoke model which is absolutely in sync with the current setup for micromax we start with micromax maharaj who is the super stockist followed by Micromax Mahavir who will be the person influencing the opinion leaders like Sarpanch and then it is followed by the end touch points called the Mahasena what this will do is to ensure the awareness and at the same time creating buzz and trust along with the ATL and BTL activities conducted by Micromax right now these two campaigns will complete the full circle next we feel that all the firms travel on the continuum of push pull mechanism of to lead towards the credence parameters so as to ensure that you know there is less involvement from customer so to ensure that we provide the micromax mukabla campaign with respect to generating the brand preference this will be the basic idea is to get consumer experience the quality product so as to reduce the gap which is there as far as the perception is concerned so we move on to the blind test which will be conducted by the current brand ambassador across a uh, various targets which are the sur surrogates for awareness and <coughs> randomness and last we will just like to finish uh, with providing the numbers so as to ensure that it's 
pretty easy to be there at the spot two, beating Samsung by 7.6 million. At the end, we'll just like to say nothing like anything. Thanks, everyone. Uh, you were talking about going uh, rural, but uh, it also beats the purpose because it's, it's always seen that an international brand has to act local, as opposed to a local brand has to act relatively global. So that's a paradox or, uh, that I see. Uh, so would you, do, do you, do you have a, a point of view about that? The objective was to reach number two spot in one year. So it will require numbers. Uh, and focusing only on the urban market, which is already highly penetrated, won't suffice the requirement. So according to us, uh, going for rural as well as urban is uh, mandatory for uh, Micromax. You can't just uh, leave behind the uh, rural segment. And uh, we are pretty much there, and we have uh, handsets for them. And uh, we have the distribution network. So I don't see, we don't see any harm in uh, you know, uh, taking it further and uh, going for this uh, Mera Mobile campaign. Have you ever considered what it's going to cost Micromax? Have you considered the return on marketing investment, how many years, and what sort of money is that you're looking at? Yes, we definitely thought of the, you know, the operational part and the basic financial requirement of this. And if you see uh, from the ideas that we had actually brainstormed, we based uh, on this particular idea because A, the 3MW campaign that we mentioned is mainly focusing on the online uh, buzz, okay? So that's more about creating a social network application mm -hmm. wherein people will come and create their particular phone, okay? So that doesn't require much money. When it comes to things like a digital interface at a store, what we have already gathered is that they have a lot of ASCs and we are just trying to make use of that and we'll say have one more booth like we have in a particular, uh, say, internet cafe. So we'll just go along with a very flexible booth which provides me a, an interactive median which will create buzz and which is very, uh, you know, quite movable in terms mm -hmm. of uh, taking it to a next, you know, mall next door. So these two particular campaigns do not require much of the, you know, it shouldn't be much concern about financials. Agreed on the rural part, but considering the existing setup, which has, I guess, around 34 main ASCs followed by uh, some 450, 450 uh, distributors uh, and 55,000 stores. So in we rural. already have this existing setup of, you know, hub and spoke model, wherein we have the super stock is followed by the distributors. So it's actually uh, very much in sync with that, so as to reduce or minimize the cost, which is possible. One little thing about the urban, uh, the, the 3MW, what I gather is that it is going to be led through online uh, it would be both. Uh, it's both. Like we have, uh, right. Like right now we have, I think, 500 uh, stores, exclusive stores by Micromax, if I'm not wrong. And we'll be using those stores for physical presence. And oh. then we'll be using, uh, simultaneously we'll be using online media uh, to, to engage uh, people. Because uh, Micromax is not focused only on, say, uh, people who are present online or only who are, you know, getting mobiles from exclusive stores. It's, it's both. It's a mix of both. So we need to be present in both. Uh, you know, the gaps that we have identified with respect to the target segments, we thought that the simple starters, uh, which is the SAC B, a lot of uh, people are not yet impacted a lot by internet. So we cannot expect uh, a huge mass being, uh, you know, acquainted to a Facebook or, yeah. say, LinkedIn. So what we thought for such people, uh, it will be a good idea. And at the same time, the primary research concluded that somehow people are not aware of the fact in a similar fashion like I am aware of Nokia Care. I am not aware of the fact that Micromax also has started something like, you know, 370. Mm -hmm. So that is where we thought uh, an online and offline has to go in hand, you know, hand in hand to ensure the two different target segments. Yeah. Let's have a big round of applause for Team WPP. Well done, Team Willingness to Pay. Those were some very interesting suggestions and strategies you gave to Micromax Mobile. We'll know in just a bit if these were winning indeed. Remember, you can log on to LimeOnline.in to catch all the action from every campus that we go to. Uh, to be frank, the questions are pretty tricky. We, we had to think before we answer, and I guess we did, a, we did a good job with that. So will Team Carp DM be able to better that? We'll find out after this short break. The kind of solutions we have provided, they are actually very practical solutions as well as uh, they fit well into the strategy of Micromax.
Welcome back. We are at XLRI Jumshedpur. This is the campus round of Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 2. You've just seen Team Willingness to Pay present on the Micromax mobile case study. I have with me the second team, Team Carb DM. I hope you guys are all set. Seize the moment. Your three minutes start now. Good afternoon, everybody. While Micromax has already reached the number three position by creating a stronghold in rural areas through its innovative products and distribution capability, it is time to be present in the hand of every consumer in the urban areas. On the basis of our findings, we propose to capture the market taking into account the heterogeneous nature. Multi-level segmentation on the basis of demographics and behavior has led to four target groups as shown on the screen. Taking a deeper dive into the TG, we found the gap between the ideal mobile imagery and Micromax imagery. The gap has to be bridged at the overall brand level and variant level for each of the TGs. At the overall brand level, to increase the saliency, innovation has to be focused on. This can be achieved through attractive in-store displays. To increase preference, quality has to be ensured and communicated through new age internet media, advertorials, and CRM activities. For the 16 to 24 year males group, the gap in the imagery is shown at the top of the screen. The need of this TG in terms of features is shown followed by the functional benefits and the emotional benefits in the form of a ladder. The proposed variant is an augmented product, the Micromax Gaming Experience. This would be implemented through the two stage promotional strategies, Hangama followed by Dhamaka. And with the focus on All India Gamer Contest, and campus association of fun gaming experience. For the 16 to 30 year old females, the category laddering is on the screen. The augmented product is Diva by Micromax. Here we want to hit the emotional chord of the TG, the Miss Confidence campaign through BTL activities and association with Miss India contest. For the 24 to 45 year old males, the need is of a mobile which is not too light and enables the consumer to connect with his friends through fast keypad and mobile applications. The Micromax Dost would be introduced through the India's Dost campaign and stealth marketing. And the most untapped TG so far is the 45 plus males and females. They are in a need of a hassle-free and easy to use mobile. We propose Neha, the one-click mobile. The USP here is the one-click feature. We would project it as a gift from the children as a token of love and affection. And it would be promoted more around the time of Father's Day and Mother's Day of the year. And this is the way forward to the top for Micromax. Thank you. What about those uh, those pain points or issues that you were talked about? Mm -hmm. uh, you've talked about. Uh, there's no address uh, towards that. Do you, do you reckon that that needs to be addressed also? Yes. Uh, the way we are doing it that we have looked at the overall purchase triggers and barriers, yeah. and also we have gone to talk to many people and we've yeah. identified the heterogeneous nature of the market, and that's yeah. how we arrived at the four level of TGs, yeah. depending on the demographics of age and yeah. gender yeah. as well as the behavioral dimension. Right. Now what we have figured out that for every TG there is a need gap. Yeah. Even if you are not looking at the purchase triggers and barriers at the overall level, we have a need gap of each of the TGs. And okay. for example, if you take the example of 45 year plus males and females, they are in a need for hassle free and uh, easy to use mobile. That is yeah. not present. Yeah. So that is how we come up with Sneha. So for our every product proposition has come from the need gap we are talking about. Similarly, if you look at our 24 to 45 year old males, they really want to go back to their college days. They want to talk to friends. So that's how we have identified the need gap, and that's how we are talking about mobile applications, messengers, fast keypad. So mm. every product proposition has its base in the need gap that we have addressed. I would like to understand from you as to how the brand Micromax will appear to these four people, sets of people. Is it going to come across as four different variants, brands, or is it that you've thought of an overriding pan India? brand insight for Micromax. Now, I'm, that is the key debate in my mind as to which of those two you've gone for and why. Uh, if you see the presentation, we have mentioned that right now Micromax is focusing on innovation. So we keep to, we adhere to that innovation as the master campaign, which runs through. And that is how we integrate the smaller campaigns and transfer their equity to the overall uh, campaign, which can later on be leveraged by other uh, so, say the TG campaigns which will be running. You had a product which is basically for the elderly. Yeah. So, how would you probably position that? 
So uh, we are trying to focus on the functionality of like the Sneha, the one click mobiles. The ease yeah. of the use of the mobile is what we are targeting in that segment. So we we gonna focus on that particular part that it is very easy to use. For example, if we look at my parents, they they would hardly bother that it has a camera or a, uh, a high tech functionality or not. But it it it's, they recognize by, by by green button and the red button probably. So that is what we we are targeting at the ease of use of the mobile, and that is where exactly we are trying to pitch in that segment. Basically, should I be as a marketer targeting you or your father for the same phone? Uh, what we have also understood that since Micromax has a very youth oriented nature, it can keep on uh, uh, leveraging on that, hmm. that's fine. But uh, since we see a lot of potential, we are talking about growth here, where we have to reach number two or number one, so you have to expand your market. Okay. So we have seen it's a, actually a 30% market which is just sitting there without any product which is 45 plus. Hmm. So the youth oriented product, product approach can be there. But this person should not feel alienated from the brand. That's what we want to leverage on. So if, if I were to sort of ask you a couple of pointed uh, yes and no's, uh, is it therefore a brand that's going to be everything for everyone? On the yes and no? Yes. Uh, if you look at the variant level, the selling level, yes, it is. Yes. It is. Uh, at the positioning level? Positioning level, it's a brand which has a very youth kind of positioning, but that youth does not leave behind everybody. So it's okay. new, it's affordable, and it is for everybody, but it's very new. It's innovation oriented. That's by the point. The, okay. uh, by launching, say, Vedance, you're actually creating a, pro a product line sort of a thing. Because once, if I want to, say, uh, I move from one age group to the other, if I want to purchase or, uh, say, go on for a second purchase, I maybe I should be able, I should have a variant where I can actually prove my brand loyalty. So Micromax, maybe I have today, if tomorrow I want to buy something else, maybe upgrade, I should have something in line. So it has to be a product line sort of a thing. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Big round of applause for Carb DM. Well done, Team Carb DM. Let's give the judges a couple of minutes to decide to make up their mind who clinches the challenge here at the campus round of XLRI. Uh, a guy gifting his mobile to his father, so the communication should be to the guy or to the father, so that was quite puzzling. But I think we tackled it well. Uh, our strategy was always that communication has to be done, uh, including the youth, and they should not be excluded from any of the target segments. The judges deliberated on which team had hit upon the best solution for Micromax. Alright, the results are out. The judges have cast their vote in the favor of Team Carp DM. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Well done. Very well done. Well fought, Team WTB. Well fought. Let's go over to Pratik and understand, you know, what really worked in the favor of uh, Carb DM. What really pipped uh, the balance towards the favor of Team, uh, the second team, the Carb DM, is basically on the fact that they've taken the Micromax core of innovation forward into their overall strategy. Uh, however, I did like uh, the, the rural strategy that the, 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 uh, the first team had presented. Uh, really, congratulations. Thank you, Pratik. Big round of applause to the winners, Carb DM. It's a wrap here from Lessons in Marketing Excellence at XLRI Jamshedpur. Don't forget, you can log on to limeonline.in to catch all the action from all the 12 B schools that we go to. We'll see you next week from another campus with another real life marketing case study. Thank you for watching. Friends have come to witness the competition, our judges are there, the channel uh, is there, so it's, it's an awesome feeling and we really like the previous uh, uh, Lime, Asia Lime experience also and this one is going to be just better.